Hey, what's up everyone? John at the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a VPN service for the purpose of BitTorrenting. Now, this is a very delicate uh, topic to be talking about, right? And so, for those of you who are scared to use the torrents, um, or you don't know what the torrents are, I have a couple of videos explaining uh, what torrents are, how to use uTorrent, and also what to do after you've downloaded a torrent. But... Uh, for the purpose of anonymity, to be anonymous while doing your torrenting, uh, this video is going to be explaining a little bit about virtual private networks or VPN. Now, for the purpose of instructional and educational reasons, uh, this is why I'm making the video. If you want to skip all this yakety yak and talking uh, to the doing part, click on some annotations that I'll put somewhere on the screen or in the description. It'll have a time code that you click on and you jump straight to the part where we'll be doing stuff, right? But first, I gotta explain exactly uh, what's gonna be going on here and why we're doing this and some of the techniques that I use personally, all right? So first things first, the VPN, a virtual private network. Essentially, when you have your own home network, say for example a modem and a router and you have devices, you have computers on your network in your home, that is a private network, right? Uh, you have your own private IP addresses and all your machines have IP addresses and everything. And so that is a private network and the machines talk to each other uh, via your router. Uh, but when you go out onto the internet, you're no longer on a private network, right? So your computer talks to some servers. And the first servers your computer is going to hit is probably your ISP or your internet service provider. That's going to be the first servers that it hits, right? And so when you go to a web page, say for example, kick ass torrents here where they have torrents file, when you load this web page up, you're asking the server, hey, I need this web page, go get the web page for me. And the servers know this. The servers know your ISPs basically because they own the servers. They know that you went to this website, right? This kick ass torrents. They know you went to that website. And then they know that you clicked in the search query, right? And that you typed in a search. Like you searched maybe a movie or something, like uh, Rise of the Guardians right here, right? They know you typed that in. They know you clicked on the search button, right? Because it sends your web browser, tells the servers, hey, uh, search this website for Rise of the Guardians movie, right? Uh, they know that you type that in. And it's like, and you're thinking, ah, big deal. So what? I searched it. Who cares, right? And so they know when you clicked on that button that you requested this website to give you this web page, right? This, these web pages are files here. And the ISP knows all that, that you clicked on that, on that link, right? And then they know that you clicked on this download torrent file, right? Because it's instructions. Your browser is telling the website here that you're clicking on a button and that you want a file. And so the ISP knows that. And then when you click on it and you download that torrent file, the ISPs know that this website sent you some file, right? A torrent file. And then you go about torrenting. You go, you start up your uTorrent and uh, it starts downloading the files. Torrent traffic is very specific, it's noticeable. They know because of the structure. If you watch my other video, they break up the files in such a way and uh, torrent traffic is kind of a very specific file structure and how it all works and uh, how it connects to different computers, how your uTorrent client uh, connects to different uTorrent clients and uses uh, the file structures of torrenting. So your ISPs knows all that. So adding it all up, you went to a website, they know what kind of a website it is, you did a search for it, you clicked on this website right here. They know that you went to this website because they can load up this web, very same website that you loaded up on your browser. They know that you clicked on the download a file and they know all of a sudden uh, torrent traffic happens on your computer, right? When you put all that together, there's no doubt that you're, or very little doubt that you downloaded a torrent, that you're starting to download a torrent, right? You can't, I'm sorry, but you can't try to get away with, oh, I didn't know what I was doing. 
I didn't uh, know that this wasn't right or I didn't know um, what this was or I didn't do any of this it wasn't me it's gonna be really hard to try to say that because you did so many things <laughs> uh, that they know uh, that you know it's kind of obvious already right and you'll get warnings from your ISPs they're gonna say hey we know you're going to these sites right and we know that you're downloading stuff knock it off stop doing it right and uh, I think there's gonna be a new law or rule coming up called the six strikes look that up to see what it is but um, so what do we do to get around this sort of thing well there is a service um, that provides a virtual private network right so what a virtual private network is it's the same kind of deal how your own home network is a private network but it extends out to the internet right so you connect to a server before you connect to your ISP server right so your internet traffic when you make a request to your um, uh, browser here on the torrent site here before you when you load up this site instead of the information going to your ISP it goes to your VPN service whatever service that you happen to be renting right and so the example I'll be showing is BT guard so as the little uh, illustration shows you here it basically goes to instead of going from your computer to your ISP it goes to the BitTorrent and then BT it goes to uh, wherever it is that you need to go um, and so your ISP sees it that the traffic and the request is not coming from your computer it's coming from another computer another computer that BT guard owns right another server actually so and all that traffic that's going back and forth is uh, encrypted right so it can't be seen they don't know what kind of traffic it is even if they did know what kind of traffic it is, it's a traffic between BT Guard servers and your ISP, right? And so they kind of just is the middleman and they eliminate the possibility of your computer, your web browser connecting to the ISP for everyone to know, right? And so that's kind of the gist of um, VPNs and the VPN here it's all traffic all of your internet traffic goes to the uh, VPN service right and it gets encrypted that means your internet stuff streaming music Pandora Hulu anything web browser related including your torrenting all of that stuff uh, gets anonymized right and so they have another service here that they use a BitTorrent proxy now what that's a little bit different uh, in that you program your torrent client, your uTorrent program, um, you enter in some information and then you tell your uTorrent program uh, to send all the traffic to a specific computer, right? A specific server, divert all the traffic to a specific one, one that's being hosted or owned by BT Guard, right? So if you take a look at a couple of packages here, you'll see that there's two different prices. It's cheaper here. This only anonymizes the BitTorrent traffic. It doesn't anonymize your web browsing. Um, and so the ISPs will still know that you're going to these torrent traffics or these torrent sites, right? So you gotta kind of think about what it is that you want to do here they have two pricing packages uh, I personally would go with the uh, VPN because it just encrypts everything right now there's a little bit of downside to all of this and I'll explain to you what those downsides are alright so because all of your traffic is going to another computer now that's being hosted by BT guard they are handling all of your internet traffic and torrent traffic and it's going to be slow probably more than half slow than you would normally do if you didn't have a um, VPN service right and there's some other VPN services like a uh, private IP address I think uh, that's another service I'm probably gonna try that after my um, uh, membership on BT guard expires I'm probably gonna try that service next uh, they advertise faster um, connection speeds but all of your traffic is going to be slow so 
when you load up the torrent sites when you actually torrent it's going to be at least half the speed that you would normally see if you weren't using a VPN right and so that's one of the downsides to all of this but again you do have anonymity of uh, browsing and torrenting right and so um, because after you program all of this because it's so slow it makes the rest of your internet browsing experience terrible so I mean I don't personally like when I'm torrenting that all the rest of my internet is slow um, because I want to be browsing the web while I'm torrenting or whatever right so to get around this whole slowness of the internet uh, what I decided to do was actually create a virtual machine right of Windows and so if uh, you don't know how to set up a virtual machine Google it uh, YouTube it I do have a video on how to set up Windows 8 in uh, Mac OS X line interestingly enough it's actually the same process it, just because I'm on a Mac and I'm doing it it's very similar obviously you would just download the program for Windows and not Mac right and so in that um, uh, setup I show how to make a um, what is it uh, a shared folder so that the virtual machine uh, can share a folder with my actual real machine my real desktop right I have a virtual machine here and for those of you who don't know it's a machine uh, it's a Windows operating system that's living inside of my Windows operating system right inception um, so it's a basically a fake machine right it's virtualized um, not gonna get too much into how this whole thing works hopefully you can do some of the research yourself but essentially what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and start up my virtual machine and so once this starts up here what I'll actually be doing this is a whole new machine that's running inside of my operating system here so essentially what I'm doing is that I'm gonna configure my BitTorrent client uh, and also my virtual private network in this virtual machine so even though the internet will be slow on this virtual machine um, it won't be slow on the rest of my computer right so here I have my virtual machine here the internet it's torrenting it's gonna be a little slow but I have my uh, web browser going and you know I can surf the web and do everything that I need to do the only thing that's gonna be slow is this machine here so here is the uh, virtual machine that I have right and so as you can see I've already got my uTorrent client and everything there and so <clears throat> we have to go to the uh, virtual private or we have to go to the network and sharing center and so uh, what I need to do is actually set up a new connection or network and then I'll set up a new uh, connect to a workplace so it's a set up a dial-up or VPN connection on to your workplace even though I'm not really connecting to my workplace and then uh, <clears throat> I've already created a VPN connection but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new connection for you right and then so I'm gonna use my internet connection VPN and so this particular info you gotta get from um, let's see here BT guard right and so I'm already logged in here uh, you got to set up this is pretty much a very much like an e-commerce site you can pay I think you can also pay through PayPal or whatever but um, you just pay for membership you can pay monthly if you want ten dollars a month or you can do a package deal like I did I paid for a whole year annually I think it was like 90 bucks um, so we can go to set up VPN it's gonna give us some information here it's gonna ask you how do you want to set up your VPN I do PPTP right and so it gives you all the information here uh, which is nice but the information I need is vpn.btguard.com right so I do vpn.btguard.com and then I'll call this BT guard VPN oops VPN right and 
um, you can leave this blank if you want um, or you can uh, allow other people to use this connection I'm not doing any of that so I'll just click on next now the username the username is your same username that you would set up when you create your uh, BT guard account so when you pay your fee and you create your account you'll have a um, username and password for that so hopefully I remember what mine is you can leave the domain blank click on connect so what your computer is doing right now is that it's connecting to the BT guard VPN service using your username and password and it's recognizing it's authenticating and then <clears throat> now your virtual machine here is going to be on a private network right so all the traffic here just on the virtual machine not the rest of your computer right not the rest of your desktop but just a virtual machine is now on a special network on a different network a virtual private network and all the traffic is being anonymized right and bam there I am connected to the internet and so you can just start up and go to your kick-ass torrents right as one of them there are many other torrent sites out there and so right now as you can see it's not too bad actually a uh, pop-up ad not too many people are fond of the uh, kick-ass torrents because of the pop-up ads that it has I haven't really had too many problems with it but I'm gonna go ahead and search for a free software like Linux Mint and another benefit to this uh, virtual machine here is that sometimes you might download some program, might have some nefarious code in it, might have some viruses or anything like that. The great part about it is that if you do get something, it would infect your virtual machine and not your real machine. But I still recommend putting a antivirus program and all that in here because you know you might log into something and you might have some personal information on this and uh, even though it's virtual private network you know still you, you can't be too careful and so let's see if I start up my torrent here and again I suggest you watch other videos my two other videos on torrenting what torrenting is and how to use the uTorrent I'm not really gonna explain that too much and so that pretty much is it um, I might have left out a few things that I wanted to explain I wanted to explain as much as I can because I know I'm already gonna get a lot, of, a lot of questions about this things so I'll try to answer them uh, if you have questions uh, leave a comment in the description or leave a comment down below uh, subscribe for more videos um, and all that jazz uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later